Is Sharon Osbourne stopping a Black Sabbath reunion? Let's talk about it. I've got three or four videos up right now about the ongoing saga with a potential Black Sabbath reunion for a final one-off show featuring Bill Ward. And by far the most common response I've had to those videos is, well it would be great if Bill Ward would get back with Sabbath for one final show. And the second most common response I've had is it'll never happen because of Sharon Osbourne. So what I wanted to do in this video is talk about what are the solid reasons for blaming Sharon Osbourne for this. And I did a little bit of research and I came up with the fact that, of course, Sharon Osbourne has some bad history with Bill Ward. Now we know from previous events, whether it's stealing royalty money from Jakey e. Lee or having Lee Kerslake and Bob Daisley removed from the credits of the first two Ozzy Osbourne solo albums or just generally being a vindictive and greedy person, Sharon Osbourne has earned a reputation for being more ruthless than Gene Simmons and I think that in this case there are some real reasons to perhaps put the finger on her. But before I go into those reasons, I want you to listen to some things that Bill Ward said back in 2015 on the Man Made Radio podcast, where he was talking about why he probably wouldn't be part of the Black Sabbath reunion at that point. Here's Bill Ward. Do you envision the stars aligning in any way that you will be part of anything that they do if everything lines up correctly and everybody can get on the same page? If everybody could get on the same page, my page, I, I've, I've been quite pronounced about my page, which is a signable contract and uh, and an and, and apology of a certain issues that Ozzy said uh, about me that weren't true. Um, I'd like to, him to publicly apologize. He said these things at a public level, so I'd like him to publicly apologize. He's already responded to that saying that will never happen. So as long as that will never happen, then um, I'll probably won't be uh, in, you know, joining the band in 2016. But Bill, that's a business issue. You're still on good terms personally with all those guys, correct? Uh, do I love them? Yes, I do. Would I like to play with them? Yes, I would. Am I upset about all the upset? Yes, I am. I'm very, very uh, sad by all the fans' reactions and the way that things have split and gone different ways and everything else. And it's not an easy responsibility for me to maintain when uncountable amounts of people are angry with my decision-making process, which was to that I need a signable contract. And I, now I need an apology. You know, first it was, a, I just need a contract, guys. So, yeah, it's a... Very sad, but I um, I, I, but I would love to. You know, if if we could get past everything and everything else, I would love to be a part of it. So I think that what he said there probably still holds true to today. I think that if there is a holdup, as Geezer Butler pointed out in his recent interview, it pretty much comes down to Bill. Ozzy is saying he's down for the reunion for one more show. Tony Iommi says he's down for it. Geezer says he's down for it. The only one we haven't heard from is Bill. Now, back on a Eddie Trunk podcast, Bill Ward said some things about Sharon directly. Quote, I know that Sharon definitely dislikes me, and she has for a long, long time. And I also know that she is inside all these contractual things, these unsignable contracts and everything else. She's right there, right in the center of everything, as are the other lawyers as well, the other representatives." Unquote. So if you take the this statement, you can see that the Osbournes and Bill Ward are definitely in serious conflict with one another, and I think that probably is the main holdup. Now, whether or not it can be resolved is another question. I think there's great will of the band to do it. I know the fans, for the most part, want it, and I think that public pressure in the past has forced Sharon to do things in regard to restoring the original credits to the Blizzard of Oz album and acknowledging that she treated so many people poorly as a business manager. So I think that the more uproar we can make as Black Sabbath fans for this final show, the better the outcome will be. And I think that some people have said, well, why bother? They can barely stand up, Ozzy can barely sing, and it won't be good, and all this. You're not understanding the point of this is to close out Black Sabbath as a band with the four original members. 
So either you understand that or you don't. And if you're a passionate Black Sabbath fan, it may mean something to you. And I think the fact that three out of the four members have already said that they want to do it shows that it means something to them. So I think that there is a very strong chance that their desire to get it done will make it happen. But I also feel that at this point, the strongest influence that will determine whether or not the Black Sabbath reunion ultimately takes place is the fan pressure to do it. Now I do believe that whatever the problems are between Bill and Ozzy, they can get them worked out. I also believe that whatever the impediments are to Bill's physical plane, they can get them worked out. I also think that they don't have to do it for money, as people keep saying they can do it for charity. So it can be logistically engineered so that they can do this thing. And if it is Sharon Osbourne and the beef that Bill Ward has with Sharon and Ozzy that's holding it back, then maybe the idea of the band coming together one more time one last time is exactly what's needed for them to resolve their conflict. Maybe the event can act as a catalyst for them to get over whatever bad blood they've had going on for the last several years. And wouldn't that be nice for everybody, including the fans? Anyway, this is what I think, but what really matters is what you think. So if you have an idea about this or any other topic connected to classic or contemporary music, please drop it in the section below and remember to like and subscribe. Also, there's a join button available for those of you who would like to become members. If you become a member, you'll gain access to members-only badges, members-only polls, members-only videos, and other cool perks that you can see when you click on that button. As a matter of fact, the members section is currently overflowing with content due to the fact that I'm uploading archive videos there as well as a stream of new videos. So I hope you'll check that out. And you can also support the site by clicking on the buy me a coffee link going over the buy me a coffee site and just drop in a donation every little bit helps this channel stay alive thanks so much